What happened? I might be having a TIA. It's happened before. But I'm sorry I didn't tell you. You've been keeping this secret from me. Yeah, they just keep picking on each other, saying meaner and meaner things. It's horrible. They'll be all right, you know. They always are. Well, either that or Murray will have another stroke. The reason you kept the TIA quiet is he didn't want me or anyone else telling you to slow down. There's no talking to her. And there's no reasoning with you! Where's Vinny? Oh, he had to go home. I'm covering for Wendy. Problem? Oh, the kitchen just called. They haven't received any dinner orders for the ward, so they can't start serving. Well, they should have let us know sooner than this. Oh, they were expecting the orders to turn up, but they didn't. OK, um, I will just have to ask the ward nurses for numbers eating, and then the kitchen can make up some sandwiches. OK, I'll let them know. OK. And we'll do another round of tea and coffee to stop the patients from rioting. So if there's any crackers or something, I'll see what I can rustle up. Is it just this floor? Yeah, I think so. OK. We'll get them to send up some fruit as well. Onto it. Hey. Hey. Oh, sorry, I had to postpone. Oh, no worries. no worries. I'm finished. I thought we could grab a coffee if you got a break. I would love to. But there is a crisis and no one else to deal with it but me. Crisis? Maybe I can help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not exactly the kind of problem doctors should be dealing with. It's more like waitressing. Uh, well. Okay, well, I'll see you later then. Yeah, you will. Look forward to it. Me too. Okay. We've upset you with our squabbling. I'm sorry, Dana. Oh, no. No, it's not your fault. I shouldn't let this stuff get to me. I know it's no fun for you kids when we're at each other's throats. Yeah, well, us kids aren't helping, are we? And Kane's back home soon. So... So you and Murray still worry about him, don't you? Not as much as we did. Murray worries about every little thing that Kane does. And he worries about me, too. That's what families do. Because we love and care about you. Yeah, and Kane and I care about you and Murray. It's... Look, I'm not telling you off honestly, it's just I... You know what, I think we actually deserve it after all this bickering. We've sort of got stuck. But Murray and I will sort out our differences like we always have. It's what you call a rough patch, not grounds for divorce, okay? Okay, it's just... Um... You're blaming yourselves. You think you're too much for us? On top of everything else. Murray wouldn't have got sick if I hadn't left him to run the IV all on his own. Well, that's not true, because it's obviously been building up for a while. And Murray has always gotten stressed pretty easily. There I go again, being hard on him. I'm terrible, aren't I? Do not answer that. But look, you and Kane are not too much for us. Credit us with a bit more stamina than that. I'm sorry, I just, I don't want us to... We will cope, and we are not going to break up. You're stuck with us. Believe me. No, I want to believe that. I do. Maybe we should think about doing this again sometime. Yeah, maybe. You know what my best bit was? Oh, yes, the Jeff was nice with whatever those anybody thinks <laughs> no, on top of. No, Peggy. The sparkling conversation? No, shut up and I will tell you. When you went up to get me another coffee and you were chatting away to the breast, you made her laugh. And I thought, oh... That lovely, funny guy is my man. And I love you too, baby. I shouldn't be greedy, but you don't have to hurry about you. Mm. Maybe I should check up on him? No, yeah, he'll be fine. No. I will call, because if I don't, I worry like someone else I know. Go on, then. All right. Mr Lawson needs pain relief, and Mrs Arani is still waiting for her ultrasound. Can you find out what the hold-up is? OK. Thank you. Oh, haven't you done well? We are the cafeteria, but I can fix that. Nurse's station. Hey, Kylie, it's Vinny. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, uh, good, good. Should I be hurrying back? No, don't worry about it. It is all under control. And Nick needs you right now, doesn't she? Oh, I'll get Pelly. Uh, Nick, actually. Yeah, I thought so. So you just focus on her and don't worry about us. You sure? Totally. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Good as gold. No panic. See? What did I tell you? Yeah. And if she needs anything, I'm sure she'll call. Exactly. So you can tell the mm. Why don't you tell Vinny about dinner first? He can't sort the problem any sooner than we can. And I, I think Nick really needs a support right now, you know? Is she having a bad day? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that'll be the kitchen. Oh, no. 
What now? CT is down till further notice. Oh, that's not good. No, it stuffs up the surgical schedule. There is going to be big delays and a major traffic jam for beds. Better call Vinny back then. No, no, we can cope. I'll just need to call my date and tell him I'm definitely not going to make it. You are a star. Uh, here we need your contact details. Give me a wave if you need some more help. Good, you're here. I'm not late. No, we just had a bit of a crisis. I had to pop upstairs. Crisis and I missed it. Was there some awful accident or something? Mm. No, it wasn't life and death. Just some meal orders that didn't go through. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's from Ola. And it's a photo. Let's see. It's Ola in Dallas in London. Oh, I'm so jealous. They're so lucky. Yeah, they're going to have a great time. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm going to go to London and live there. And New York. And I'm desperate to go to Mongolia. What about you? Where in the world would you most like to go? Anywhere. The whole hubcap is mounted. I'm going to have to get a new one. Okay. Can we talk, please? Nicely, I mean. Of course we can. Ed, I'm not blaming you for the hubcap. Well, I didn't think you were. It's just hit the curb a few times, that's all. Are you talking about the car or us? I thought we were going to talk nicely. OK, fair enough. No, I just want us to put our argument aside and move on. Well, that's what I've been trying to do. Focus on getting well so it doesn't happen again. You're the one who's been holding a grudge. Oh, for no reason at all, I suppose. Well, because I wasn't completely honest. But you keep punishing me for it. OK. We could keep going round in circles forever over this, but let's not. I'll second that. Dan will be a relief for one. Well, that's the thing. She thinks this is all her fault. And Kane's. Hey. She thinks that you fret about Kane a bit too much. Oh, rubbish. OK, maybe I do a bit, but that's only because I... I know. But she also thinks that she abandoned you and that you've had to work so hard you got sick. And she hates us arguing. She's worried we're going to break up. But we wouldn't. Yeah, I know that, and you know that. But we need to reassure her a bit. She's 19 and grown up in all sorts of ways, but... Sometimes she's still that little girl who never had a dad and not much of a mum. OK. Does this mean that we can rule a line under it? I think we're going to have to. Good. Forgive and forget. Keep a shake on it. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm really good. Can I buy you another drink? Oh, it's just mineral water. I'm fine. Oh. What are you up to? Nothing much. Thinking about getting an early night. Yeah, yeah. That plan's been another on hold. So I'm thinking about going home too. So I don't know what. Hmm. I know I should be more up at a summer after all, but... Take a waste for payment time? Got the bars, huh? Oh, I probably just need a good night's sleep. So that's what I'm gonna do. Nice. Oh, no bother. She's got update in there. Sorry? You know, when you see photos of your friends having fun somewhere really exciting, and you're just in boring old Ferndale. Oh, right. Ola and Dallas are in London having an amazing time. Dallas is a bit jealous. So am I. Yeah, well, I guess Dallas is a factor in that. Is he? Uh, they were engaged not so long ago. Oh, I don't know if I knew that. Yeah, well, it looked like the real thing, I mean. Just stop working. Takes a while to get out of that stuff. Huh. She needs a new boyfriend. <laughs> not right away. <laughs> no, she needs one so ass. That's why she's moping. Her <laughs> friend should help her hook up. Oh, not this friend. I'm staying out of it. <laughs> hey, Morning, Dana. Hi, Hi, Dana. Oh, you know, I can hit a curb. It's just when you grind along it for a stretch, that's when you do the real damage. Well, I'll try not to in future. What are you making? Murray's special pancakes. Yum. Lovely. What? Nothing. I'm sure they'll be delicious. You don't look very convinced. It's just, is this really a good idea for you? With all that butter and sugar and you know you'll want maple syrup as well. I'm ahead of you there, Wes. These are my special pancakes. Actually, technically, they are buckwheat galettes. Excuse me? It's a low-fat recipe served with natural yoghurt and a sugar-free berry sauce. Oh, double yum. Well, that's all right, then. I am sorry for jumping to conclusions. Oh, apology accepted. 
But the CT is now back up and running. Wow, I didn't know there was a problem. How long was it out? Uh, from late afternoon yesterday. They fixed it overnight. Oh, it must have caused a bit of chaos. We sent urgent CTs to Central. There will be a bit of a backlog today, but they should catch up by this afternoon. Awesome. Now, I'm about to go on leave for a couple of weeks. I'll be in regular contact, actually. But I've appointed Boyd as my contact person for the other HODs. Cool. But I'm really impressed with your leadership style so far, and I'm confident you'll be fine in my absence. Thank you. Much appreciated. Hey, Kylie. A little bit late today? Yeah. But thank you for helping me out yesterday. You are me. Yeah, sure. Sounds like you could do with a bit of sleep. Whatever. I'll see you when I get back. Greg! Hi! Hi. Uh, I guess you two already know each other, right? Um... Well, you're Dr. Tasker, aren't you? Yeah. Greg? Bella? You can call her Bells, everyone does. Hi. I was uh, talking to Greg before in the CAF. You two are into a lot of the same stuff. Are we? Hmm? You both love animals and the environment. Well, who doesn't, right, Greg? And I bet you both love taking long walks on the beach. No joke. <laughs> I should have. Bye, Greg. You were trying to set me up with him. He's a nice guy. So you go for coffee with him, or go out with him, or whatever you were leading up to. And why were you leading up to it? You just seemed a bit down yesterday, that's all. So? So? You don't have to hide it. I heard about Dallas. Huh. And there he is on the cool side of the world, sowing his wild oats with all and who knows who else. Whoa. You think I'm jealous? I would be. You don't have to hide it. All right. Maybe I am jealous. But not of Ola and Dallas. I want them to be happy. I'm just... Jealous of everyone doing something with their lives when I'm not. Um, right. That's what I thought it was in the first place. And you know what? I have decided to focus on my career and prove to Rachel that I am the best PA that she could ever possibly have. Starting with training you properly and making up for the fire alarm disaster. So don't bother trying to match make me. Just pay attention and listen to what I am trying to teach you. Sure. I'm going to say it again. You can make these any time. Every day, if you like. <laughs> They're delicious. Oh, well, thank you. There's probably heaps of other ways to serve them, too. And they're healthy as, which keeps you in the good books. Phew. Uh, don't you dare. You cook, we clean. If you want something to do, you could start researching your next fabulous recipe. Oh, well, I just do that. After I've had another crack at the bar accounts. Get them out of the way before Kane gets back. Oh, good thinking. Oh, it'll be so good to have him home. I've missed him. Mm. Us too. Will you both be here when he arrives? Sure will. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yep. There are changes on the spreadsheet in the red. Oh, uh, yes. I double-checked your calculations and made some adjustments. Because I'm not capable of making them myself. I didn't say that. You thought it, though. Oh, Hubby's had a stroke. He couldn't possibly get them right. There were some errors, that's all. I was going to find them and fix them today. Well, I've done it for you. At least I've highlighted the changes. Well, in case I'm too far gone to see them, I am not completely brain dead, you know. Yeah, I know. Well, thanks. You didn't have to. No worries at all. Have you two just been pretending all morning? Acting like the Brady Bunch so Crazy Dana doesn't get upset again? Oh. No. No, honestly, we haven't. We've really gone on well this morning. So do you think we'll ever actually go on this date? <laughs> well, maybe if you quit your busy job and I quit mine and there's no more unexpected disasters. Yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> but when you are free, call me. I serve me well. What's up? Is there something going on with you and DK? Kind of. <laughs> okay, we're thinking about dating. Oh, quick! Someone tell the gossip machine! Don't you dare! We would like a bit of privacy, thank you very much. Yeah, as if you'll get that round here. Yeah, true. All these busy jobs, all we seem to do is grab a couple of minutes here and there. It's so frustrating. Yeah, well, now you're sprung, sister. No secret romance for you. Mm hmm exactly. I'm a thought out of memo. No, you are not! <laughs> I could always sell the story to the tabloids. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Hey, baby. Hmm. How was your physio appointment? Great. Mm. You're in a good mood, I see. Yeah, I was a bit annoyed with uh, Carly's attitude before, but now she's picked up a lot. What was the problem? 
Well, she turned up late and she wasn't showing me any respect in front of Rachel. Well, I thought you pointed that out to her. Well, I was going to, but I mean, I can let it slide. Can you, really? Well, she's a buddy. And she did me a favour and she's going to pull her socks up. Far be it for me to interfere, but... I should have given her a rock up. Well, it's a hard one to learn, I know. And we just about all go through it. But in the interest of good discipline, you're their boss, not their buddy. Putting her through now. Oh, hello? Who's this? Uh, hang on, I'll put you through to Dr. Gibson. But no answer. He's not there then. He could be anywhere, actually. Excuse me, caller. Hi. Would you like to hold, or can I take a message? All right. I'm reconnecting you now. Best to stick with protocol. It saves heaps of time. Okay. I've still got a lot to learn, right? Uh, you're getting there. X-rays for Mr. Finlay. Are they here? Yep. Uh-uh. Not so fast. What? Did you check the NHI? EV082731? Yep. That's the one. There might be more than one patient with the same surname. If their x-rays get mixed up, they could end up with the wrong operation. Right. Yeah, we have to be alert. The one needs more alerts, I know. Good. Would you like some water? It's best to stay hydrated. OK. <laughs> Just moving you to shape, eh? Well, kind of a new project, instead of finding a new man. <laughs> right. Hey, can I get you to do something for me? Sure. The surgical department is launching an exchange project with Columbia University, so we're having a bit of a party and I need to send out invitations. Cool. Guest list is on there, it's the entire department basically, and the top brass, of course, and Gloria Springer is coming, so everything needs to run very smoothly. Oh, Gloria Springer, I better handle this. I can do it. Well, I'll supervise, it'll be good training, and you can relax, Boyd, everything will be absolutely perfect. Thank you. Any questions? Just call. We will. So, where will you start? I'm not sure now. Right, sending out a block email. You have to do it correctly, attaching each recipient as a separate BCC so everyone doesn't know who else is invited. Why not? Privacy, silly. It might sound old fashioned, but some people still like it. You'd better show me then. I reckon I've got time to mow the lawn. If you can have a crack at those overgrown bits. Okay. You could leave the lawns for Kane if you like. I am still capable, you know. Too right you are. No, I can't find my jacket. I must have left it at the hospital. I'm hoping that my cash flow card is still in it. I'll nip it and get it if you like. Yeah. I'll make a start. Okay. Hey, just take care. I always take care. I'd just rather have long grass than a husband in hospital, that's all. Honestly, that woman, she can't leave it alone. Give me strength. Hey, sis, how's it? Good, good. Are you on your way? I'm heading to the airport in five. I've missed you. What? <laughs> so how was rugby camp in the end? Yeah, it was good. It's OK. Are you sure? You don't sound very enthusiastic. I guess that's because I got a letter from Dad. What? My real dad. Jimmy? What did he want? He says he wants to see me again. After all this time? Why? I don't know. He saw me in the rugby team on the school website and got my eddy from Mum's lawyer. Well, I hope he apologised for ignoring you all these years. He did, actually. I mean, he didn't say much, but he did say that. But if I say yes to seeing him again... What? I don't want to upset Wendy and Murray. Especially Murray. He's my dad now. And he's been there for all the hard stuff. Dana. I think you should see him, eh? Find out what he wants. I have him hanging around. Hey, I'll never get a chance to do that with my father. Do it. Okay, I will. Well, hey, I hear you covered for me yesterday, Kylie. Thank you. Oh, no worries. It's so good having a boss who has kids himself. When I needed time off for family, Vinny was right there for me. Mm. Bit of a double standard there, Carls. What do you mean? The ones with kids get a lot of flexibility and you end up with no social life and having to do extra nights because you're single. Well, Vinny has a mate and he ends up getting spread too thin between helping with a baby and Nick's rehab. Yeah, no, I, I would have helped out too if I could have, but it wouldn't hurt to remind him that he owes you. He knows. I've told him. And besides, I would do it again for him if he needed me like they did yesterday. Vinny, 
We can't have them burning out. Mm, no chance. Yesterday here, Nicole has some time out. They went out for fancy cakes. How do you know? Nicole was on before for some physio when she told me. OK, so that is the emergency that you put off TK for. Vinny is a good boss and a friend who's taking advantage, methinks. Juice for two. Oh, thank you. Hey, you can send Boyd's email now. I've already done it. But I didn't check it and I didn't even finish showing you. Uh, don't stress, OK? Because I knew how to do it once you got me started. Why didn't you say? You were really getting into training me. I didn't want to spoil it for you. I don't get that. Show me what you sent so I can check it. Sure. Ta-da! You didn't. Didn't what? You rushed it, Clementine, and look. You sent it to the whole hospital. Oh, no. Oh, now they're all invited. What if they all turn up? Rachel is going to go off her nut. Hey! Clean scrubs. Thank you so much. You know, it's the patient who's supposed to get the bed bath, not you. Yes, until he has a seizure and sends it everywhere. Poor guy. Under control. Get changed. Sorry. Um, I am getting changed. Yes, I I'm looking for a thermometer, goes. Here they are. No, but the patients, but the, the temperature is definitely rising in here. <laughs> that is so cheesy. <laughs> so bad. I should be a gentleman and leave. Thank you. <laughs> All right, up to. <laughs> oh, Benny, hold up. You don't want to go in there. Oh, wait. No. Wait, 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 hey, hey. What happened here? Oh, I just um, needed to get changed. Really? Or did you need to have a quickie with your new boyfriend? <laughs> Excuse me? Because you thought you could get away with it because I've been soft on you. Well, I'm sorry, Kylie. Consider this an official verbal warning. What? You heard me. Vinny, it was not no, like I can, that. I can handle this. This is how you treat me? Calling me a liar and giving me a warning after everything that I did for you yesterday. Working my butt off all day and most of the night so you could sneak home and have some time out with Nicole. Take a look at yourself, buddy. Oh, and you know what else? I've accumulated two weeks' worth of leave. I'm taking it, starting today. No, no, you can't do that. Watch me. And as for our friendship, forget about it. <laughs>